How's it going guys? Nathan Nathan's MRE and today we have a very special ration. This particular one is actually a vintage earthquake survival kit. Okay, so we got quite a bit of info on the package here and it has quite a lot of stuff in it. We're not really sure there is so little information on this kit what the exact date is. And the only thing I see there's a copyright 1989, so we know it has to be at least after that, so more than likely in the 90s. Um, there's a few things in the front here, the all metal flashlight kind of gives that away. Just the type of stuff that's in it dates it somewhere in the 1990s. And I would guess this is made in California by Harvey Productions. So I'm guessing this is Harvey Enterprises, I'm sorry. Uh, probably something to do with the 1993 uh, California earthquake, more than likely. Uh, so in the content section, we have a nutritious survival food pack, five-year minimum storage life, sealed sterilized packets of water, five-year minimum storage life, uh, Coast Guard approved. Now I see there is those Daytrex bars in there. Uh, emergency candles, waterproof matches, portable stove, flashlight, batteries included. That would be interesting. Uh, thermal blanket, first aid kit, AM radio, batteries included. Hopefully the batteries are not in these items because you know what's going to happen if they are. It says replace every two years. Uh, survival suggestion, packed and crush resistant storage, store away carton. Uh, cartons offer much more protection than a bag. Uh, if it requires no preparation, it tastes like a cookie, ready to eat. This should be real interesting. And this has some very simple on the package here. It says hurricane, tornado, and flood. And here's the fr actual front of the box. I'll let you guys look at it here. It says when the big one strikes, which is historically long past due. So this might be pre-93 actually. Uh, no utilities, gas, water, electricity, or emergency services. See, for an indefinite time, this kit contains items that could save lives. For home business, auto, RV, marine, and schools. Let's hope they did not keep it in their auto because we know how how the last one turned out. Let's go ahead and dissect it here. Go and get the plastic off of it. It is a hell of a heavy box, that's for sure. We have some instructions on the rear. And I'll go ahead and let you guys read that real quick. There's too much to read on the candle here. So it actually has a 909 number. I guess maybe that's possibly the number to the company. Huh, okay. At any rate, let's crank her open and see. Some yellow construction paper type stuff here. And it gives you basically instructions if you're in your car, in the house, and so forth. At 2,500 calories. So we'll just read the very first part. Check for injuries and provide first aid necessary, as necessary. Check for gas leaks, well obviously. Do not light matches. Kind of goes along without saying with the gas leaks. Uh, shut off main gas valve if leaks are found. Check water and sewage breaks. Uh, down electric lines and shorts. Remain calm. Yeah. That's first eight instructions. In case you lit the match while you had the gas leak. So what we have here, as of right now, it looks like nothing's leaked in here. So that's always a good sign. We have uh, some purified drinking water. And I don't know if there's a date on any of these. We'll try to find a date on something in here. That just, I mean, still though, it's not gonna date the package because they could put stuff that was a year or two old or whatever in there to start with. We have a little accessory pack with, uh, looks like some moist towelettes. Yeah, little moist towelettes. We have some uh, 
ointment, antibacterial ointment, alcohol pad, have a gauze pad or two in there, and some old school band-aids. So we'll set that off to the side. Here's our flashlight. I have to tell you, on the front of the box, it looked much bigger. The batteries are not in here. So it kind of makes you wonder. And like I said, this flashlight could be from the 80s and this be from the 90s. A lot of stuff that's really hard to date those. We have hot wick, safe cooking fuel. Holy. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Essentially uh, like an oil-based sterno. Maybe more just oil. Do I dare light that? Let's get everything unpacked first so we burn the house down. We have, so at one, two, three packages of drinking water, four packages, five packages, six packages, seven packages, eight packages, nine packages, 10 packages, 11 packages, 12 packages. <laughs> it's mostly drinking water. We have a battery. And look at that, it has a nice little, uh, oh, that one got busted open. A nice little cover over the positive terminal of the battery to keep it from, obviously. We have some double A's. We have our little uh, foil blanket, reflective blanket. We have some matches with, I guess, look at that. Waterproof safety matches. I guess a striker. Holy. All right. We'll set that over here so we don't burn the place to the ground just quite yet. That's a lot of weight. And we have our SOS Survival Food Packet, Food Labs Inc. There should should be a date on this somewhere. There is. We have a production date of 1994, of 0494, and an expiration date of 1999. So uh, we're looking at least a 94, 95 production date. Come back here in a second. We have some candles, just some simple paraffin wax candles. Got one that's kind of broken and stuck in here sideways. Look at that. It's kind of cool. And it looks like um, just a standard issue, like a. Um, Walmart or Hobby Lobby type box of candles. And we have AM portable radio. And that, my friends, is all that that box contains. Let's check out this radio. This radio is uh, operates on two pin light batteries. I guess uh, double A is pin light. But look at the back of that double A. Weird, huh? Made in China, even back then it had the, the stamp of approval. So the, the question is, was China made stuff better then than it is now? Probably. Look at that. That is definitely from, let's say, predates to the 80s. It has some kind of really shoddy looking, uh, oh, earphone jack on it, I guess. Look at the electronics in that one. Definitely don't make stuff like that anymore.
All right, let's get the batteries open. Let's just see. These may not be any good. I think it has some double A's around here somewhere, if not. Quite the uh, chintzy operation here. Does that still have? No. Okay. Oh. Wow. It's definitely made in China. Imagine you're trying to. Uh, survive and all he got some made in China radio and it doesn't help <laughs> it doesn't work half the time I would say if you had to rely on this Now we're inside a, a building, so it may not pick anything up. When I roll the volume up and down, it works, but it's not getting any stations. Huh. Very interesting, at least. Turn it off for right now. We'll go ahead and pull those back out. Okay, so I took it outside. You can hear static, but it doesn't pick up anything. So you got to do a little, little service work to your Chinese radio. Before uh, you're gonna be able to use it. Odd. Open up these C cells, and hopefully these work. Cause I don't have any extra ones of these around. That these are dead. They should be dead, but. The double A's weren't, so we'll take our chances here. And so I go like that. When I was a kid in the eighties, my grandpa had a flashlight somewhat like this. It's like those. I guess that's just a button you push, right, to turn it on right away. It's like those are definitely dead. No, nope, those batteries are shot, my friends. Okay, moving on. Moving on to this big brick of food bars that are probably nowhere close to being good and probably rancid. So let's see, they're still vacuum packed. Not anymore, they're not. Oh. Nasty. over my nice shiny knife here. Just try to cut it down. There we go. That's what we're going for just to get it started. Look at that mess. They don't smell very good. They don't smell rancid. They smell kind of sugary. But look at the, the stickiness going on in there. Yeah, they definitely don't smell good. Definitely not good. It smell like cardboard and like old fat, kind of like old, uh, I don't know, like something semi rancid or mostly rancid. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and crank this guy up, see if it works. Let me get a glass and we'll pour out some of this water. Okay, so we have our lighter here. I'm not familiar with this setup at all, so this might be a house burner down here. Let's just freaking see. Yeah, I like lighting stuff. You have absolutely no idea what it's going to do, right? 
Are we lit? Yep. Okay. So it is like a sterno, more of an oily type situation than any sterno I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see here or not. There is a, almost like a clear blue flame to it. There we go. <laughs> Probably still can't see it. Anyhow, how does a person go about putting that out? I would guess put the lid back on it. Nope, I just blew and blew right out. Lid back on it now. And that'll choke out whatever's happening in there. Uh, see, moving on, we have a very small glass or a very small pouch of water, and we will cut her open right now. It has a tear notch so we don't spill it. Let's just go ahead and fillet that off of there. And the water is kind of brown looking coming out. That might just be a reflection. There we go. And you can tell how, what a small amount of water that actually is. That's a tiny glass. It smells like plastic, just straight out plastic. And uh, yeah, maybe we just won't drink that. I actually, I didn't tell you guys, I actually got sick this weekend. Um, of all the nasty, rotten food I've eaten on this channel, uh, that's not actually what made me sick. I actually went to Taco Bell, got some tacos, and they had chicken in them, which, you know, should be something you could eat without dying. Apparently, I was terribly mistaken on that. And, uh... Ate some chicken tacos. About 10 minutes later, wasn't feeling so good. I actually was not at home. I went home and for the next, I don't know, 18, 20 hours, I was very certain that I was going to not make it. And this horrific stomach pain. And you know, those kind of places, you never know. You probably don't want to know what they're doing in the back. And uh, so after that, if it's okay with you guys, I may not try these nasty old bars that smell like death. Because let's be honest, I'm in no hurry to get back in that situation again. And yeah, so that's pretty much all. I mean, not really a lot of stuff in this kit, some drinking water. But unless you're a little kid, maybe they'll, I don't know, there's enough packs that'll get you by for a few days maybe. And truth be told that this cereal bar or that Daytrex bar was good. That probably lasted quite a while for food. So that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be all for the mid-1990s earthquake, hurricane, tornado, flood survival kit from Harvey Enterprises. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.